Hi, my name is Alistair Turnbull and I would like to recite to you a Robert Burns poem called Address to a Haggis. This poem is usually recited at Burns Night and uh, I've heard it many, many times. But to be perfectly honest, the first time I heard it, I had no idea what was being said. The language is old and difficult to understand. So to that end, I'm not only going to recite uh, the original poem, I'm also going to recite a modern English translation, which will really help you understand what is actually being said in the poem. I'm going to read from my book, Robert Burns' Food and Drink, which is available on Amazon, and there's also an audio book available as well. So, Address to a Haggis by Robert Burns, written in 1786. Fair far your honest sonsy face, great chieftain o' oh, the puddin' race. Aboon them ah ye tack your place, pinch, tripe, or theorem. Weel are ye worthy o' oh, a grace, as lang's my arum. The groan and trencher, there ye fill, your herd is like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time o' need, Th while through your pores the dews distill like amber bead. His knife, see rustic labour dicht, and cut ye up wi' ready slicht, trenching your gushing entrails bricht like ony ditch. And then, Oh, what a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich. Then horn for horn, they stretch and strive, deal take the hindmost, on they drive, till all their wheel-swalt kites belive are bent like drums. Then old Gidman, mayst like to rive, be thank it, hum. Is there that ower his French ragu, or olio that would stow a sou, or fricassee would make her spew with perfect scunner, would looks down with sneering scornful view on sick a dinner? Poor devil, see him ower his trash, as feckless as withered rash, his spindle shank, a gid whip lash, his neave a knit. Through bloody flood or field to dash, oh how unfit. But mark, the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, clap in his wheelie neave a blade, he'll mack it whistle, and legs and arms and hands will sned like taps o' trissel. Ye powers, wha make mankind your care, and dish them out their bill o' fare, Old Scotland wants nae skinking wear that joups and luggies, but if you wish her grateful prayer, gie her a haggis. That's the original, written in 1786 by Robert Burns. Some say he wrote it in Edinburgh, some say he wrote it before he got there. I don't know. This is the uh, modern English translation. Uh, it doesn't again doesn't sound as good, but you'll understand what's being said hopefully. So, address to a haggis, Robert Burns, 1786, modern English translation. Good luck to you and your honest plump face, great chieftain of the sausage race. Above them all, you take your place, stomach, tripe, or intestines. Well, are you worthy of a grace? as long as my arm. The groan and trencher, there you fill, your buttocks like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the dews distill like amber bead. His knife, see rustic labour wipe, and cut you up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright, like any ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight, warm, steaming, rich. Then spoon for spoon, they stretch and strive, devil take the hindmost, on they drive, till all their well-swollen bellies, by and by, are bent like drums. 
then the old head of the table, most likely to burst the grace he hums. Is there that over his French ragout, or olio that would sicken a sow, or fricassee would make her vomit with perfect disgust, looks down with sneering scornful view on such a dinner? Poor devil, see him over his trash, as feeble as a withered rush, his thin legs a good whip lash, his fist a nut, through bloody flood or field to dash, oh how unfit. But mark, the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, held in his ample fist a blade, he'll make it whistle, and arms and legs and heads will cut off, like the heads of thistles. You powers, who make mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare. Old Scotland wants no watery stuff that splashes in small wooden bowls. But if you wish her grateful prayer, give her a haggis. I hope you enjoyed both the original and the modern translation. I hope you understand a bit more about what's being said now. I, if you want to learn more about Burns, you could look up more of my books. I have another two books, Robert Burns' Women, 12 Poems Inspired by Women in His Life, and Robert Burns' Nature, 12 Poems Inspired by Nature. I, whatever you do, enjoy more Burns. If you're going to a Burns supper, I hope it goes well. And until next time, Slanjavar.